Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to do an update to a video I did about a year ago on the Level Blueprint. I just thought it needed to be updated. And so anyway, what we are in a third person template right now, by default, it should look like this pretty much when you come in. So I'd like your screen to kind of look like mine. So one thing we'll do is we're going to go to Windows, Load Layout, Default Editor Layout, and we'll go to Content Drawer, and then we'll just dock it. And then we'll come up to Window, and then we'll get this Place Actors. You can think of the level blueprint is confusing because it's called a blueprint, and we use blueprints a lot, but it's called a level blueprint. And so the question is, well, where is it, and what do I use it for? So it's up here. If you click this icon, you can go Open Level Blueprint. The one difference between this blueprint the level blueprint and another blueprint is you notice it doesn't have a viewport and one of the reasons is is that this level blueprint generally is used for accessing or manipulating things that already exist in the scene whereas a blueprint are more like freestanding actors and objects that you bring into the scene for instance if i wanted to create a point light and i wanted the level blueprint to be involved with it i would drag in a point light here into the scene and then i would reference it in my level blueprint I wouldn't usually bring it in through the level blueprint. Like I go open level blueprint, you see I can't even add a point light here. A level blueprint gives you control over the items or objects that are in your level only and just this level only. So every level has their own level blueprint. So if I were to go in here to file and create a new level, like a basic level and go create, save, and I'll save this level as, I can save the current level as new map, and I'll put it here with my other level here. This level, this new level that I just created, it's going to have its own level blueprint too. But again, it has no viewport or no way to access the typical actors that we normally do. But it could reference an actor in the level itself. So let me close that and go back into my third person map. Okay, so we brought in a point light here. And what we're going to do with the item selected in the scene, we can create a reference to it in the level blueprint. So we'll come up to the level blueprint. And if I right click, I can create a reference to that blueprint. And then let's say I'm going to create a function where after five seconds, I'm going to change the color of the light. So I'm going to search for what's called an event. Begin play right here and then I'm going to search for right click and search for a delay node here and let's say we'll make the delay for like five seconds and then I'll drag this over here into here and then out of this dragging from this node here I can set color on the point light component here and so I can drag this exact pin into this pin there and I can change the color let's say from by default it's white and I can change it to let's say an orange color and we'll go compile and save and now we've created added functionality to this light and down here I can increase the intensity of the light and if I hit control L I can make the whole scene a little bit darker so we can see the light better so what should happen now as soon as I hit play the light should change color after five seconds so we'll stand here and wait for it to change color and there it changed colors and if I hit escape, I don't get any errors or anything like that. So we have basically changed the characteristics of a light through our level blueprint that exists here. But this is only on this level. So if I went into the new map level and go into the level blueprint, it has, it's completely blank because there's only one level blueprint per level. I would have to recreate whatever functionality I wanted. So sometimes it's not efficient to use a level blueprint just because there's functionality that you want that you want to recreate and you don't want to have to rebuild it every time in a new level. So in that case, you might just build a regular blueprint. And to do that, we could just right click here and go to blueprint class and create an actor class and call this BP underscore light. And if I double click into it, you'll see on this blueprint that I have a viewport and I have access to all these components. So in here, I could search for a point light and drag it into my viewport right here and then do the same thing I just did in the level blueprint. I can go drag this point light onto the scene where I create a reference to it 
and then I can come over here and go delay and set it for five seconds. And then off of this point light reference, I can pull and go set color, set light color. And I could set this color, let's say to blue. And then I'll drag this exact pin, I go okay. And then I can drag this exact pin into here like that. And I can compile and save. And now this blueprint that I just created doesn't exist in the scene, but I can drag it into the scene. So I can drag it into the scene like that. And there it is. So now if I hit play, I have two lights in the scene. This one over on my right is the level blueprint. And this one on my left is a blueprint that we built separately. Now the beauty of the blueprint now, if I hit escape and I go into my new map here, I'm going to switch levels here. Now I can drag this blueprint in and use it in this level. So these kind of blueprints, the regular freestanding blueprints, allow us to use them in between levels, whereas the level blueprint only works in the level that I'm in. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. There's a lot to take in when you're first starting, so just take it in steps and you'll get there. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful, and I'll talk to you next time.